Hey guys, so today I wanted to do kind of an impromptu video. I actually got in the mail the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Wool Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And I've seen a lot of people have been comparing this mascara to the Better Than Sex by Too Faced, which is actually one of my go-tos. I've been through probably like four of these. It never fails me. It gives me nice length, but also volume. So this is one of my go-tos. I always have it on backup. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to compare the two. And this is a fresh one. And my Too Faced one is probably like two weeks old. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Just taking out the package. So first things first, I want to look at the brushes comparison-wise. Um, I know they're not exactly the same. And I feel like sometimes people kind of associate dupes by packaging. Like, it's both kind of that pink packaging. So it's like, it's kind of like, oh, these are going to be the same. Um, the brushes are a little bit different. So let me see if I can get this to focus. So this is the Too Faced, and then this is the L'Oreal. Um, and then I already have my base done. My skin's a little bit dry today, so you guys see that. I'm sorry, it's just one of those days. And then I tried the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation mixed in with my Cosmetic CC Cream. And the L'Oreal just made it really dry and like suck onto my skin. Um, and made my highlight look kind of like creepy and gross. So definitely not doing that again. I might use it more so like maybe on my nose where I get more oily and not use it anywhere else. I'll try that next time, but yeah. Um, and around my eyes, all I have is my Nude 6 Copper Foil Magnetic Eye Color. Um, it's literally a copper pencil, but once it sets, it doesn't go anywhere. And then for lips, I have my Nude 6 Purity. Um, this is kind of like my everyday go-to face if I have some extra time just getting ready for work. Um, so let's get into this. So first things first, I'm going to apply the L'Oreal on this eye. So I just wanted to zoom you guys in a little bit first. And I'm going to apply the L'Oreal on this eye. And I'm just looking into a compact so that I can see what I'm doing. And I feel like, for me personally, with the Too Faced, I feel like it gets better with time. Um, as it starts to dry out, I feel like the formula is more forgiving on the eyes and it's not as wet. So this definitely really separates the lashes. I don't really feel it kind of pulling through my lashes as much as the Too Faced one does. I feel like it's kind of just picking at my lashes, but so far I feel like it's giving me more separation than the Too Faced does. So that's one eye done. Obviously you can see a big difference because I have concealer on my lashes. Um, I got a little bit of specks on top, but honestly, I'm not the best with mascara. I probably just started wearing mascara on an everyday basis in the last year or so. Um, before I was so against it. I don't know why I was just stupid and hard-headed. And I have this like really long lash right here that's like longer than the rest of them, which I want to like trim because it just looks stupid. And I do feel like the formula is really dry, which I kind of like. Um, I don't really have a lot of issues with mascaras crumbling on me too much because I don't really touch my eyes and or rub them. Um, so I don't really mind a drier formula mascara. I actually feel like it kind of is just better for me. So now I'm going to go to the Too Faced on this side. So this is the Too Faced here. Yeah, you see like I'm not the best mascara. So that's with the Too Faced on. I'm gonna go back in and do one more layer of the L'Oreal on this side. Now I do feel like a lot of product kind of comes out on it. Like, and I have to get the extra product off, which I'm not a fan of because that scares me. And I feel like if one day, if I'm not really paying attention and I do it, and I get all that extra product on, I'm just gonna be screwed. And I'm not someone who wears lashes. I just really rely on mascara. At least like when I'm not doing tutorials and whatnot. So I feel like both sides look pretty similar. Um, I do feel like this one really separated a little bit better. Um, the Too Faced one is great, but I do feel like I definitely get more volume with it than I do length, and I get more length with this one. This brush, I do feel like it almost like tight lines my lower lash line when I really work it through because it's really easy to get to the base and kind of wind it through. Um, the other one, not so much. It just gives me more really nice length. So 
I don't know, I do feel like the formula is very similar in how it is kind of more dry. Now, if you feel like the Too Faced is too dry and too like, how do I say it? It's too like crumbly. You might not like the Lash Paradise either because it's not a wet mascara in my opinion. At least mine is not and I don't like a wet mascara. Um, I do feel like both eyes look very similar. Let me just kind of flake off the mascara if I can find a spoolie. Oh, I do feel like my lashes look very big. Um, on Today they do look a little bit more spidery because I did put on lashes yesterday for a tutorial. And usually for me personally when I put on lashes, I always get glue in the base of my lashes that's really hard to remove so when I do my mascara the next day it does clump up a little bit more but I do like the very full effect that it gives um, I do feel like with the Too Faced naturally as I'm applying I do end up getting mascara on my lower lashes more so than the L'Oreal definitely um, that's not someone I aim, something I aim to do personally because I don't like mascara on my lower lashes for every day um, I do feel like it does make a difference but it's just not something that I strive for personally um, but yeah overall I do think these are very comparable um, I personally feel like I get more length with Lash Paradise and I feel like I get more volume with the Too Faced and I'm going to wear these throughout the day today and I will leave it in the bottom bar my complete overall review. I am digging this a lot especially if I'm not wearing this heavy of like a copper liner. I do feel like it'll be really nice to just have like full lashes but still coated very black. Um, so I'm going to be keep using this and it'll probably be my monthly favorites because it's just been good so far. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like these kind of reviews. I hope you guys like kind of the impromptu and just, you know, doing this before work, casually. And yeah, if you guys want to see more reviews like this, please let me know. And if there are any specifics you want to see. Um, I've never really done mascara reviews, personally. So, it was good. It was fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I will see you then.